Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Plan B Success. I have often been asked, what's the glue that binds winning organizations together? Any organization functions absolutely well when all its employees, teams, and divisions work together as one cohesive unit. Teams are made up of diverse roles and individuals, and within that lies the strength of any particular team. Diverse talents, diverse temperaments, and many times different priorities in individual capacities can come in the way of team goals. But when channeled to work toward common goals, fostered with a common bond, and irrigated with mutual transparency, These same differences can be turned into strengths for the team to get to their goals with a mindset to make it happen. Thriving in diverse teams is the key to any individual accomplishment and pursuit of meaningful work in a world that we continue to complicate in pursuit of simplicity. The first and a crucial key to ensure a team builds, grows, and stays together is mutual respect and trust. Don't you think that it's an integral part of us, in all scenarios, professional or personal, to trust each other to have our backs? For teams to work cohesively, it's important to formulate, agree on, and socialize the rules of engagement from the get-go. The foremost goal in any team should be to reduce friction and increase productivity to reach the goals set. What better way to get that done than to ensure everyone on the team understands that they're all one unit, going after a common vision and mission? Not just at the team level, but this is a vital aspect at the unit and division levels as well, and also at the organizational level. No matter which team, unit, division, or organization you belong to, you're all in it together. The lesser the need for personal fiefdoms, the smoother the coordination of work and goal achievement, irrespective of intermittent failures or successes. No more sales versus operations, or operations versus technology, or anything else like that at the division level. It's always organization versus clients, or rather, organization for clients. When a failure occurs, it's every division's responsibility, not just the individual or the team or the division in whose role paradigm it occurred. The entire organization needs to hold accountability to own and correct it. Everyone loses or wins together. There's no internal blame game here. Teams are made of fast and slow thinkers, introverts and extroverts, and also optimists and pessimists. That's a part of natural selection. What's significantly vital is to have ground rules as to how members of the team treat each other, how they interact and not personalize opinions, how they will not just agree to disagree but also agree on chasing options together and most importantly maintain mutual respect irrespective of agreements or disagreements at work. Irrespective of the differences members of a team have, They're all smart and productive, lest they wouldn't be on the team. That's an undercurrent everyone needs to maintain top of mind. Next is pragmatism. The ability to be realistic in situations and not be swayed by rosy-tinted optimism or dark-tinted pessimism. This is generally seen during times of conflict or challenges. Pessimists see it as unrecoverable and optimists on the other hand, see it as a challenge that is destined to be won. Both are extreme cases, and a bit of realism always helps to observe an issue for what it is, in view of changing internal and external environment dynamics, and then take a call. A constant need for appreciation always exists within any team. Give praise freely and generously for the right reasons. Praise in public and admonish in private. When I say admonish, don't take it as punishing someone, but having a reasonable discussion as to the changes you need a team member to adopt to get on the right track of progress in case they're off track. 
Positive affirmations always have a way of getting the best out of people, both on a professional level and a personal one. It also helps bolster the bonding within a team, which will reveal itself in tough times when the team sticks together and everyone willingly goes above and beyond to tackle challenges. Diversity in teams always means there's a need to manage different cultures, thought processes, habitual frameworks and more. Yet, if managed through the thread of trust and camaraderie, they can be the most productive and result-oriented. These teams experience success that would otherwise not be possible. Besides, the diversity in thought of such groups makes for great innovation creative problem-solving, and unique point of views. Mindsets move away from rigidity to flexibility. Beliefs and temperaments are challenged and forged differently due to the mixed influence. The bonding within the team, unit, division, or organization takes their performance to an unprecedented level. Leadership skills are built fast and business results are delivered flawlessly. Team morale is at its best and trust reigns supreme. Now, which competitor can go against such a formidable organization, division or a team? I hope you liked that episode and are enjoying all the episodes in Plan B Success Podcast. I'd encourage you to go subscribe on your favorite platform, whether it's any listening platform or YouTube or wherever you listen to podcasts. Make sure you subscribe so that you enjoy this content and extract from it what serves you best, what benefits you in your own life, personal, professional, business, whatever it might be. Plan B. Live is the website where you can go in order to find any episode that you would like to listen to. Three times a week, we release episodes, the first being an inspiring interview with someone who's done it, been there, done that, and can inspire you to go after what you want to achieve. Every Monday, that's the episode that gets released. And then, on Wednesdays and Fridays, we pick a topic and we talk about it in order to benefit you in your personal and professional life. At the same time, if you're someone who's interested in learning more about these concepts, if you're someone who's interested in podcasting as well, go check out planbsuccessschool.thinkific.com That's where all the online courses are. You can learn and benefit from them there as well. There's a bunch of free courses. There's a bunch of paid courses. Start with the free ones. Get to learn what you aspire to learn. And if you want to delve deeper, then you can sign up for the other ones. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.